did a tutorial video for lace section 7 of the Cozy Moments Lace Shawl. My name is Garvin and I'm from New Leaf Designs and I'm the designer behind this lace shawl. And lace section 7 is this one. And again, it looks a little bit like diamonds, but also a little bit different than the diamonds we have knit before. These are a little bit bigger, and there's a um, central double decrease that we have not knit before. So if you knit from the chart, you will see that there's a new symbol in the chart. It's a double decrease, but with a dot inside. and. Um, this is not the standard symbol. Uh, the standard symbol was actually the same as we used before, um, the crow's foot. But as I'm using both of these decreases in the same pattern, I need to I needed to use a different symbol for this one. So the double decrease that we have done before was the slip one, knit two together and pass slip stitch over. This center double decrease is slip two, knit one, pass slip stitch over. And doing this will give you, it will give you a line that lays on top of your diamonds. So the middle stitch will lay on top and I've uh, I'm just knitting a tiny swatch here of this pattern and here you can see as well that the decrease it creates a ridge on top of your triangle or diamond and that is what we want and I'll be showing you the lace um, pattern on this little swatch simply because I haven't been able to knit up until this point um, on my whirly gig version so I'll just need to work on this swatch to show you because otherwise the videos would not be done and the sun is coming out to play <laughs> um, so this is lace section 7, pattern G. It's repeated over 10 stitches and 12 rows. Now there are also beginning and end stitches. So before the main repeat you will need to purl 2 and after the main repeat on the very last repeat you will need to purl 2 as well. Um, this is all written out in the um, written version of the pattern. And I will also show you uh, what it looks like if you knit from the chart. For whirl, we are knitting three total repeats of the pattern, which, which brings us to 36 rows. For whirly gig, we are only doing two repeats of the pattern, so 24 rows. That is if you want to complete the pattern with just one ball of whirly gig. If you have an additional ball of whirly gig get that you can use to extend your pattern, then you can just knit the whirl version of the pattern. So you can just knit 36 rows. I really want you to pay attention to the new double decrease in this chart because we will uh, start using it directly in the first row and we will use it in rows one three five and seven and um yeah you really want to be using this double decrease and not the previous one otherwise you will get you will not get this effect so let's get started on row one so for lace section seven row one you see that we have a red box in our chart and to the right hand side of that red box there are two purl stitches which means we need to knit or purl those um, before we start the main repeat then we knit from the main repeat and the first stitch is a yarn over now we have just done a purl stitch so the yarn is at the front of our work 
perhaps I'll show you throwing style. I think that's a bit easier. So the yarn is at the front of our work. And the next stitch in our chart is a white box, which is a knit stitch on the right hand side. So we need to be moving that yarn to the, to the back of our work. And for a yarn over, we are doing that across the top of our needle like that. So we've done the yarn over and now we are knitting three. Now we have come to the central double decrease, um, which is S2KP, slip to knitwise and pass over. So we are going to slip two stitches knitwise, just like that, knit one, and pass those slipped stitches over. And you will see that the middle stitch is on top. I'm going to show you one more time. Now it's really important that you slip the two stitches together. If you slip them one by one and then knit and pass slipped stitches over, then the right stitch will be on top, not the middle stitch. And you will not have the effect of the stitch. So I'm going to flip those again. So we always have the right leg forward. So we want to slip both of them, actually like you're doing a knit two together, but then just slipping them off the needle, knit one, and pass those over. That is our decrease. Now we have another knit three. So we've knit three, then we have another yarn over and the yarn is at the back of our work now and the next stitch is a um, purl stitch so we want to have the yarn at the front so we bring the yarn forward drape it across the needle so we've made our yarn over and then because the next stitch is a purl stitch we bring the yarn forward again so we can purl that stitch there's our yarn over. I will show you here um, what that looks like in throwing style. Um, so back at the beginning of our chart, we make the yarn over. So yarn forward and drape it across the needle. The next stitch is a knit stitch, so we don't have to bring the yarn forward again. We just drape it across the needle. Knit. So we knit three stitches, then we slip two stitches knitwise off the needle, knit one, pass those slipped stitches over. Then we knit three, and here we have the yarn over again. So our yarn is at the back of our needle. We bring it forward, we bring it across the top of our needle, and we bring it back again so we can purl. See? Now I am at the end of my swatch. So that means that I am going to purl these two stitches because um, those are shown on the left hand side of the red box. Outside of the repeat, these are the end stitches. And these are also written out in the written version, so please pay attention to them. 
slip the marker and knit four stitches. Now on the wrong side of our work, so we turn our work, on the wrong side we purl most of the stitches but we also knit a couple of stitches and you can see that here because I've already knit a repeat but for you that will be difficult because you won't see um, any stitches to build on and the wrong side rows are not included in the chart but they are included in the written version for the chart it says on all wrong side rows all purl stitches are knit stitches and all other stitches are purl stitches so I'm just going to look at row 2 of the written version so we knit four first there and here the written version of the chart begins so we knit two then the repeat starts knit one purl nine two three four five six seven eight nine so we purled nine and um, that's the end of the repeat so we go back to the beginning of the repeat it says knit one and again purl nine and on following wrong side rows this will be much easier because you will see the knit columns and you will know to purl all stitches in between so that will be much easier on following rows Okay, so I've purled nine again, and then uh, it says repeat until two stitches before marker, and now I have two stitches left before the marker, and then I want to knit these two. That is the wrong side row. And don't forget to always knit the four stitches on the outside of the marker. Now we are back at the beginning of the row and it's a right side row row three there and again we will start by purling those two stitches before the main repeat starts so i've purled two stitches then i knit one and now we have another yarn over and this yarn over um, is between two knit stitches so the yarn is at the back and should also be at the back for the next stitch but we want a yarn over so we take it across the needle like this and we um, now have it at the back of the work again so we can knit two I'm just going to show you that yarn over. See? And now we do the central double decrease again, the S2KP. So we slip two, then knit one, and pass those slipped stitches over. Then we knit two. Then there's another yarn over so yarn forward across the needle and that's it and knit one and then we purl one and that is our repeat and this is what it looks like a throwing style so we knit one now for the yarn over bring the yarn forward then bring it to the back over the top of the needle knit two and then slip two stitches knit one stitch and 
slip those or pass those slipped stitches over then knit two we make a yarn over knit one and purl one now I'm at the end of my um, swatch again and that means I also purl the last two stitches which are the end stitches and then I knit the last four now the wrong side row is the same again so you knit all of the knit stitches as it shows up on this side and you purl all of the other stitches so that means knit one first then as the repeat starts knit one purl nine knit one purl nine until the end then you will knit another two stitches so we are now at row five and on every right side row we start by purling two stitches those are the beginning stitches and now we knit two we do a yarn over and again it's between two knit stitches so we bring it forward drape it across the needle to the back and that is it and then we knit one and we knit our uh, decrease so we slip two knit one and pass those stitches over we knit one yarn over knit two and purl one and now throwing style we knit two Then we yarn over, knit one, and then we knit the central double decrease, slip two stitches, knit one, and slip those or pass those slip stitches over. Then we knit one yarn over knit two and purl one and i'm at the end of my swatch so i'm also purling the last two stitches that was row five please go ahead and do the wrong side row and I will meet you back for the beginning of row seven so we are at row seven this is the last row in which we will use the central double decrease and our right side rows in this chart we begin by purling two then we follow from the main repeat we knit three then we have a yarn over and and after that we do the double decrease so we uh, take the yarn forward and to the back of the needle and i always just keep it there with my pointer finger then we slip two stitches knit one now you can let go of the yarn over and you pass those slipped stitches over there and now we do another yarn over and knit three and then purl one that is our repeat 
Now once more in throwing style, we knit three. We bring our yarn forward and to the back for the yarn over. And then, oops, we slip two together. And we will knit one. Pass those slip stitches over. Yarn over. Knit three. And I am at the end. Oh, wait, I need to purl one stitch first to finish our repeat. And then I purl two because I'm already at the edge. That is row seven. You can see that the diamond comes together here in this row. And go ahead and do the uh, wrong side row and I'll meet you back at the start of row nine. Okay, we are at the start of row nine. We purl two stitches before the main repeat. And then we knit one. And then uh, we do a knit two together. So we insert our needle like this and knit those two together. Then we do a yarn over and knit three. Oops, oops, <laughs> knit three. Then I yarn over and slip, slip, knit. Knit one and purl one. So this this row is relatively easy. I'll show you again in throwing style. We knit one, we knit two together, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, slip, slip, Knit, knit one, and purl one. And I'm also purling the two end stitches. That is our repeat for row nine. Now go ahead and knit the wrong side row and I'll meet you back at the start of row 11, which is the last row of our chart. Now we are at the last right side row of our chart. Row 11. And again, we start by purling two. And then we take a look at our main repeat, which is uh, a knit two together. Then a yarn over and then knit five. One, two, three, four, five. A yarn over and slip, slip, knit and a purl stitch to finish it off. Once more in throwing style, we knit two together. Yarn over, knit five.
yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and purl one. And I'm already at the edge, so I'm also purling the two end stitches and knitting the last four. And that was the last patterned row of our chart. So now we just have to um, work the wrong side row, which is row 12. So that is the end of our chart 7, pattern G. I have knit two repeats in total, and this is what you should knit if you are using a whirly gig. So you are knitting two full repeats, 24 rows. If you are using a whirl or a different yarn and following the original version of the pattern, you will knit another um, chart repeat. So you have 36 rows in total. And I just think this chart is so pretty. And I know I say that about every chart, but I just really enjoy it. <laughs> um, I hope you are enjoying it too. And I hope these videos are helpful. A lot of people are giving me great feedback about the videos and I'm so, so grateful for that. Um, I would love to see your shawls. So if you share them in the Facebook groups by Scapius um, or on Instagram, please do tag them with hashtag cozy moments shawl and hashtag Val Mal. And on Instagram, you can also tag me. I'm at newleafdesigns.nl and you can also tag Scapius. And yeah, that's it for this repeat. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Happy knitting! Bye bye!